Okay, I've got the Barnard twins here in Gaborone in Botswana. It is so flippin' hot here. How are you coping with the heat? Well, obviously I need to drink a lot of water to keep hydrated and it's really hot and uh, take showers often because it's but but on the court it just must it must be sweltering through your shoes and everything. Yeah, I can feel the heat coming through my shoes. It's really hot. Okay. Yeah. And how do you cope with the, the heat? Well, the heat has been really um, very hot here, and we have to drink also a lot of water and make rehydrate to not keep hydrated. And yes, uh, what helps on the court is if you put an ice towel around your neck just to keep you cool. cool. Now this morning you had uh, a pretty. Uh, that was a, 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 a easy average, but, uh, average match. Yes. How did you feel about uh, the, your quarterfinal match? Well, I didn't really feel that great as I didn't play my best, but she's going to get those days which you just have to pull through. And yes, I also have to give her the credit. She's not bad. And yes, I pulled through, through and two. And who, who, who do you now meet in the semi finals? I meet Amelie Boy. She's from Mauritius. I've been playing with her now for the last three years. I know her really well. Yeah, I have to play. Is she good? Yeah, she's good. She's good. Especially on clay. And, 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 and how are you feeling about your draw now? Well, this morning I had a, a, a nice win. And um, uh, the girl from the Namibia, Jessica Riddle. And tomorrow I'm playing the Zimbabwe girl in the semis. Um, I don't know her name, but my sister played her in the round robin and it went to three sets. So oh, I'll feeling to good. play my yeah. best. Um, and now tell me something, you know, I, I was watching a little bit of a dance video on YouTube. You guys are really <laughs> movers and shakers. Eh? Um, it, it, quite a lot of fun here. Um, yes, it's really fun. As Lee, my, Lee's the big dancer. She makes up all the moves. Then we just follow me and Laura and Zoe. We really enjoy Lee's dance lancers. Why are you the big dancer? Do you love dancing? <laughs> no, not really. But you There's look pretty nothing good on that to video. Do, really. There's nothing to do at the hostel, so <laughs> dancing is one option. But you guys seem to be having a lot of fun, although it's it's been, it's quite a... It's not the greatest tournament um, uh, location, yeah, but, it's, but you're having lots of fun as yeah, a South African team. We're making it nice, yeah. We're making it fun. Okay, so now this is an important match. Eh? What's going on over here? Well, I heard Corin took the first set 6 3 and she's 6 on in the. T no, she lost the second set 7 6 and she's now in the super tiebreaker. Yeah, super we're all supporting yeah, to get her through here. Are, are they playing a third set? So they're playing a third um, set. Oh, so no. now, okay, so if you were her coach now, what do you think you would tell? Corinne to do to try and get the set? Well, this girl is, um, she brings every ball uh, back and what I would do is um, step in and take the balls early because she really um, loops the ball with heavy spin. Not really heavy spin, but she gets everything back and I would be more attacking or aggressive, yeah. And, and what would you add to Well, that? I've seen when she came to the net, she doesn't have great volley, so I'll maybe bring her forward and then just try to pass or just hit straight at her at the net, bring her in. Okay, so that's the, the Barnard twins, and uh, they are both here watching uh, Karine de Boll from South Africa, and she's playing on court there in a very, very tense quarterfinal match um, against a Zimbabwean opponent, and let's hope that the last South African on court can join all the other South Africans through to the quarterfinals here at the African Junior Champs Qualifier in Gaborone, Botswana.